Hello everyone, welcome back to another die cast review. This time it is a wave review of Wave 5 for 2021. Now they just released Wave 6, we haven't got those yet. But I mean, I found Wave 5, that's got my boy Bowman in it, that's all I care about. I didn't get the liquid color, if you saw the die cast haul earlier, I did not get it. But I said, I will, if it costs an arm, a leg, and an ear... I will do it because I got two of each so you know that's just me I'm maybe a little too much of a Bowman fan but you know it is what it is it's fine so I do have to discuss a few things real quick before we actually get started first things first we got a few duplicates we got the Bowman and the Truex so we're only going to review one of each I'm going to use both Truexes for customs I think, I, honestly, I think the only ones I'm not going to use for customs is the Bubba Wallace, the Brad Kozlowski, and there's another one, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not, maybe it's just those two. Well, I mean, and a Bowman, because I'm going to, there's two, out of the two Bowmans, I'm going to keep one of them, and I'm going to hang it up on the wall. And the other one I'm going to customize. So technically, scheme-wise, I mean, we're, we're, no, we're not going to review the 23 because I have it in the Gold Series. And I will review that very soon. So other than that, I think that is it. So we're only going to do a one review of the 48 Ally and the 19 Tracker. We're not going to do the Bubba Wallace and we will do everything else. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get this Diecast Wave under review. So, if this is your first wave review by ya boy, I don't know why I said it like that, <laughs> but, uh, okay, what was I going to say? If this is your first wave review that you've seen from me, here's how we do things around here. We go in numerical order, we don't do duplicates, we just do one of each. Uh, so, starting out, we're going to do the Brad Keselowski, right here, then we're going to do the Chase Elliott, Kyle Busch, Truex Jr., Christopher Bell, William Byron, uh, Cole Custer, and then, of course, the Alex Bowman. Also, if I happen to uh, be fortunate enough to find a liquid color, I do not review the liquid colors. Those are always a personal collection. Uh, so those were uh, those are never reviewed on the channel unless it's a gold series or something that was just already open that I bought off of eBay or something, or a 187, or a 164, or not 164, I 124, you know, just stuff like that. So there's a small rundown, but anyway, starting off, as I said earlier, we're going to be taking a look at the number two Freightliner for good old Brad Keselowski. Now, I was kind of surprised that Freightliner even got like a primary, or not primary, but a primary sponsor, I was going to say primary paint scheme, a primary sponsor on a paint scheme, and it was made into a diecast form, but I'll tell you what, look at this packaging. It looks so good. It's very simple. It's got the silver though. It looks very nice. Oh, this one's this one's good. This is a good package. So right here, of course, you got the Freightliner number two. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open and take a look at the hood because we don't have the. I'm pretty sure we don't have the stickers for this one. So that's awesome. And uh, we're going to take a look at this hood and get right into this diecast review. So here's the diecast out of the box. Now again, if you're new, first things first, we will always take a look at the trinket, whether it's a sticker. A uh, winter sticker, a card, a magnet, a hood, whatever you want it to be, or whatever they just put it out. We always take a look at this first. So let's kind of zoom out a little bit here. Got Brad Kozlowski, got the number two right there. Uh, it's got a really nice little shine on it for it being uh, kind of a plastic uh, little, you know, design here. So very awesome. Got a little bit of silver, a little bit of white Brad Kozlowski underneath there. Of course, we've got the hood pins and uh, NASCAR Authentics on the back. So it does look very, very nice. On to the actual paint scheme. Again, this paint scheme looks pretty darn good. I'm not even going to lie. I don't remember where this was ran. I know it wasn't Talladega because he won at Talladega and it was not in this paint scheme, but I could have, it could have been like Daytona. I do want to say this was a plate track for sure. I could be wrong, but either way, fantastic looking die cast. I mean, this thing is rocking really good. This is a really nice paint scheme. Very simple. Freightliner, got the black, the white, the silver. Definitely approved. Again, it looks very nice. We even got white rims on this die cast. That's going to be uh, pretty awesome. I do think it'll look better in the Gold Series, though, if I'm being honest. Freightliner right there. Uh, Pins oil and Ford. 
Uh, nothing on the windshield banners because it is an authentic, so unfortunately. Got the uh, the number two right there with the black around it and the silver outline. Very nice. Nothing on the rear windshield either. Got Worth right there. Looks like a white spoiler. Looks very good. Freightliner looks to be a little low, but that's okay. Nothing too bad. Got the silver on the back right here with the white. Number two, Michigan Forbes license plate. Got a little bit of a camera right there. And the tail lights looks pretty darn slick, not going to lie. Let's see, got Freightliner, Wabash, or Wabash, I think it's Wabash, uh, Snap-on right there. I want a Snap-on die cast from Brad so bad. I really do. Auto Trader, we got a few Auto Traders uh, from him in recent years, or past years, I should say. Discount Tire right there. Got a little bit of silver and white going down the skirt. Not bad. Of course, that kind of accents and uh, follows the number two right there with the silver on the outside. And, of course, you got some more silver and white right there as well as on the uh, top not top on the coming off the wheel well going back to the window again looks very nice let's see on the b post we got ford uh per tech i don't think i picked up as per tech for 2021 or 2020 i don't know what that one is ppg mazak dent wizard and i don't know what that one is if i'm being honest looks like there's a little bit of a uh decal air right here or is that just like residue uh unfortunately oh no we're good. No, wait, no, we're not. Never mind. So it looks like it's some type of residue uh, or something. So it is what it is. Oh, goodness. Can you focus for me? There we go. Anyway, I tried to get it off. It didn't really work. It, I mean, it's a little gone, but not really. Got NASCAR race car, of course. Then we got the uh, NASCAR Cup Series right there. Goodyear. We got the Goodyear tires and not a awfully painted job on the wheels, but not a great painted job either. So, of course, we've got the Sunoco down here. Got the number two. Oh, that's a little... That's a wide number two, I'm not going to lie. On the front, we got the Mustang, and this thing looks really mean from the front. Look, got a white splitter, or slash a black splitter, black and white splitter, I guess you could say. And of course, you got, oh, got the Mustang right there. Got a little bit of, like, uh, stripes kind of going up to give it, like, that fast look. Really mean and intimidating vibe. I really like that. It looks very awesome. So, that is it for the number two of Brad Kozlowski's Freightliner. Definitely giving the paint scheme a 9.5 out of 10. Very awesome. Decal quality could be a little better. I'm going to give it like a like a 9. It wasn't too bit terrible, but it could be a little bit better. And I was going to say something else, but I don't remember. But anyway, uh, let's not focus too much on that. And let's move on to our next die cast. Next up is going to be the number 9 of Chase Elliott in the Lumar window film. Again, this is going to be turned into a custom from The Clash. And, uh, of course, you'll get the package if you go to purchase it on Bottom Mag Diecast eBay page. Link in the description if you want to go check that out. Uh, but if you did not see my rant review on the Gold Series of this, if you like rant, rant reviews, I kind of go off a little bit. So, I don't know, grab some popcorn, grab some Twix, some Coca-Cola, take a seat, listen in, see how you feel about it. Because this that diecast was absolutely horrendous. But we got a replacement, uh, fortunately. And then we got it in the Gold Series. Or not the Gold Series, but the Authentic line. I mean, we got it in the Gold Series, too. But you know what I mean. Uh, pretty decent packaging. I do like the packaging. Again, they uh, finally changed it to where they actually give a rip about the packaging for a individual die cast. And I do really appreciate that. We have been wanting that for a very long time. So I'm going to try to preserve this box a little bit and get this bad boy out. And uh, take a closer look. And hopefully, I can already tell it's not as bad. But uh, who knows, with it being an authentic die cast with a little bit of a uh, full wrap of a paint scheme, this die cast may not be the best once we're done taking a look at it. Here's the die cast out of the box, and of course we're going to take a look at the little hood that it comes with. So I got Lumar window film, got the number 9 and Chase Elliott, got a little bit of that weird uh, kind of just shape design on the bottom. Nothing on the back other than the NASCAR Authentics. And then here is the actual die cast. We've already reviewed this in the Gold Series. If you want to go check that out, again, it is the rant review, but we did get a replacement. Uh, so I will still leave that in the description if you want to go check that out. Also, I believe the only... Uh, let's see. I believe the only exclusive is, in fact, the Brad Kozlowski. So I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure all these are going to be released in the Gold Series, if not already have, other than like the Bowman. And uh, what else did we not get yet? Actually, I think we got all but the Bowman. Maybe the Kyle Busch? I don't think... Yeah, the Kyle Busch is out. Okay, so that one is out. So never mind. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the the Bowman is not... Or is the, it's the only one that's not out yet. And the uh, uh, the Freightliner, Authentics, of course. The Brad Kozlowski, 
is a exclusive. So if you want that diecast, you better get it in the wave because that is the only way you're going to be able to get it. So I highly suggest checking your Walmarts, Targets, whatever, because scalpers can get a hold of that. If you don't know what a scalper is, a scalper is a person who goes specifically to buy something and they resell it for a ridiculous price. A lot of people do that with the NASCAR Authentics. And yeah, if I was you, try to find it while you can, because if not, you might have to pay a pretty penny just for the paint scheme. Anyway, got Lumar window film right there. Didn't mean to kind of go off on a small promotion about, I don't know, Lionel and Authentics. Uh, we got no windshield banners or anything, front or back, of course. Got Lumar right there. It was a big old crack in it. I got the number nine with the blue for whatever reason. I don't know why they didn't just do like white or something. I believe I stated that in my previous uh, Nap Auto Parts, or not Nap Auto Parts, Jesus. Uh, my na uh, <sighs> I can't talk, people. I can't. I'm tired. Please forgive me. In my previous Lumar Window Films uh, review, pretty sure I touched up on that, but I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. Nap Auto Parts up there. I got the black back right here. Something Dale Jr. used to do uh, when he used to drive. I don't know if that's like a tribute to him. I don't think it is, but I don't know. Still something Jr. used to do. Uh, kind of back in his day, meaning 2017 on back. So you got Lumar paint protection film, uh, Valvoline, Camaro Z01, one Of course, you got the Lumar there once again. Got the tail lights, the Chevy bow tie, the camera, and the number nine. Over here, you got Napa, Lumar. Got that weird kind of like shape pattern going all the way down the side, uh, down the side, fading from a reddish to an orangish to a like kind of like a light orangish yellow kind of here and there into a white. So not bad. It's a little weird, but not bad. So you got uh, Valvoline, Kelly Blue Book, Chase Elliott, Elk Salta, Acronis. I'll zoom in here. Freightliner, Hooters, Mac Tool, Simons, and Cincinnati. Universe and Hooters right there once again. Got the blue number nine. So you got uh, NASCAR Cup Series, Adrenaline Shock, which is kind of shocking. Haha. -ha. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it is kind of shocking, though. Like, literally, no pun intended. Uh, because it's an energy drink, right? But they put it in the Authentics. They didn't put it on the base for the Gold Series, so it is a little weird. I uh, got NASCAR race car right there. Got Goodyear. And, of course, you got the number 9 and the Sunoco right here. Moving to the front, uh, we got just, you know, your normal stuff. Not a bad job I lie now, I'm not going to lie. So this diecast did turn out a whole lot better than I thought it was going to. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a complete train wreck. But, no, good job, Lionel. Small round of applause for you. You still suck, but good job. There was a few flaws here and there, but not too bad. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to our next diecast. The next diecast is going to be on ba -ba -da -da, Kyle Busch in the number 18, 2021 M&M's paint scheme. Now, I cannot stand this guy. If you know me at all, you know I hate Kyle Busch and Bubba Wallace. I don't really hate Bubba Wallace, but I do. I've always had a thing for Kyle Busch. I don't know, okay, so it was partly being raised in a junior household. Uh, if you like Dale Jr., okay, so we had a few rivalries, right? If you liked Kyle Busch, you couldn't like Dale Jr. If you liked Dale Jr., you couldn't like Kyle Busch. Same thing with Gordon. If you liked Jeff Gordon, couldn't like Jr. If you liked Jr., couldn't like Gordon. Why? I don't know. They were literally teammates, but hey, I don't know. Anyway... Uh, a friend of mine keeps saying the reason why I hate Kyle Busch is because of that one little incident back in, what, 2008, 2009 when Kyle, uh, Kyle dumped Junior? No, I'm not you Elliot fans. I don't have a Martinsville flashback every time Elliot, like, gets in a crash. No, I mean, I'm not, no, I'm not that way. I've always hated Kyle Busch, okay, not hated him as a person, but hated him as a driver. I hated the way he drives. I hated the way he acts on the track. He's just a big baby to me. I mean, he really is. Like, he cannot control his temper. Now, to be fair, Kurt Busch was way worse. But he got better. Kyle Busch, it just... If something doesn't go his way... Like, okay. He could have a fantastic day. He could finish second. He would complain about it, like, for the whole interview. Now, someone like Matt Benedetto, he's like, yeah... You know, that sucks, but, you know, we still got a really good finish. I'm proud of this team. And then Kyle Busch is like, eh, I don't care. Now, don't get me wrong. If you had a lot of talent like Kyle Busch did and you finished second place, you probably wouldn't be happy either. But it's still a really good finish. Like, he always takes the negatives out of the day instead of any type of positive. 
You know what I mean? That's kind of why I don't really like Kyle Busch's attitude. And him as a person, you know, I'm sure he's a great person, great dad, you know, whatever, great husband, I don't care. Uh, but as a driver, not really my favorite by any means. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open and to take a look. I can see some few paint chips already, and the B post is very scuffed. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to crack this bad boy open either way. And to see what we got, because it looks like the decals are a little rough on this one, not going to lie. Here's the die cast out of the box, and honestly, I'm pretty darn happy that uh, I'm going to turn this into a custom anyway, because I got the gold series, right? Link in the description if you want to go check that out as well. But I can see from the decals just right here, sitting right here, there's a paint chip right there, paint chip right there. The B post is super scuffed. You can see the uh, NASCAR race car logo is a little bit cut off. So just on this side, there's already like four or five mistakes. So that's a big yikes right there, but we're just going to have to... Uh, see what else you know we kind of got on the other side i really hope it's not too bad either way it's going to be custom so it's not really bad overall it's not for the collection so i'm uh, perfectly fine with it having a few little uh, hiccups here and there m m's right there got the little red guy and just a blue and m uh, and m with orange on both sides and then green in the middle with the 18 of course on the blue m m i'm surprised there's not like a signature or a name for kyle bush honestly on here uh is it on the back maybe nope just the authentics uh, so yeah, there's the hood for that. Here is the actual die cast that comes with it, of course. I don't know why I said with it like that. Either way, you're defending... Wait, no, not you're defending. Uh, your previous two-time Cup Series champion. I, I keep thinking, for whatever reason, Elliot didn't win the championship. I keep thinking it was Rowdy that did it last. It was 2019 when Kyle Busch got his uh, championship, his second championship. And of course, 2020... Chase Elliott kind of slid on in there and said, hey, th this trophy, or is this one right here, that's mine. I'm taking it. So he, uh, he kind of stole the championship. So, I mean, again, he deserved it, but I'd, I'd really wish Harvick just made the Final Four. I know it's an old topic, but it still burns me. But anyway, let's actually take a look at this die cast before I run out of time. I, got, I have like 58 minutes left, so I've got to be careful. Surely God, it won't take that long. Maybe if I don't talk as much, it wouldn't happen. Anyway, got M&M's right there. Uh, green, red, or is that orange? I'm going to just say red. Green, red, and blue right there. But it's got the 18 with M&M's across the back. M&M's on the deck lid. Black spoiler. Let's see, we got the uh, Toyota logo right there. Got the Camry. Got the XSC tail lights. M&M's 18. Got the camera and the Toyota logo up there. Or the bow tie. Or the, no, not the bow tie. The bow tie is a Chevy. On a little symbol right there for uh, Toyota. Got the little, uh, let's see. I don't like how they have the yellow on yellow right here. But we got the Eminem guy right there. Not the rapper, you know. But I mean, it'd be cool if Eminem was on the die cast. It'd be amazing. I uh, got the little uh, yellow guy right there. Ream. Let's see, Eminem's interstate batteries. Oh, goodness. Cessna, that uh, decal's a little, little scuffed. Sherman Williams, Mobile One. Don't know what that is. A little cougar looking thing there. Lincoln Welders, Mac Tools, let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> I keep forgetting how many contingencies he actually has. Toyota, Joe Gibbs, uh, Snickers, maybe? Skittles, Pedigree. I want a Pedigree car so bad from Kyle Busch, but no, we can't have that. Rowdy right there. Of course, got the 18 with the brown, red, and orange M&M &M, uh, going over to the green. So you got NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR Race Car, Goodyear with the tires, of course. Got k &N on the front right there, and Sunoco. We've gone to the... Oh, no! Look at that wonky, as can be, decal. Jesus, look at that. That's so wonky. That is super scuffed. Like, that is as scuffed as it can get. Oh, my goodness, dude. Yikes. That, uh... That's kind of a big oof right there, fellas. That is supposed to be like that one, not like that one. Oh, well. Again, it's going to be custom either way. I honestly don't care. Got Camry right there. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, the, for the decal, not bad. I mean, it's bad, but it's not terrible. It's not the worst I've seen, I'll put it that way. Uh, got a lot of bad decals on the left side. Paint chips. Uh, the B posts don't fit right. There's a decal cut off. The freaking headlight had a stroke on one side. So yeah, the decaling, not the best. But let's go ahead and move on to our next die cast. And honestly, or actually, we got 18, 19, and 20. So we got Kyle Busch, 
Truex Jr., and Christopher Bell. So, next up, just like I said, will be Martin Truex Jr. in the number 19 Bass Pro Shops of 2021. I believe I already got this in the Gold Series, right? Uh... I don't know. Yeah, I do. I just have not reviewed it yet. So, the link is not in the description because I have not reviewed this diecast yet. Uh, I will. I will get to the Authentics, obviously, right here, and I will get to the Gold Series. Um, I don't know, within a few days. So, just give me a little bit of time. I promise you I will have that along with the Bubble Wallets out uh, in a matter of no time. So, we've got the paint scheme right here. Very nice paint scheme again. We're going to turn uh, the two I got today into customs. So, hopefully those turn out really well. And uh, let's crack this bad boy open and see what we can get into. Here's the die cast out of the box. And, of course, once again, taking a look at the hood. So, we got Bass Pro Shops, Martin Trix Jr., and the number 19. So, we got a little bit of a swoosh going on right there. Got a little bit of orange as well. Uh, NASCAR Authentics on the back. Nothing special. Moving on to the actual die cast. Let's see. We got Bass Pro Shops, uh, Johnny Morris right there. Again, we're going to review the Gold Series here soon anyway. So, we'll actually get... A full detail review on the Gold Series Edition. Got the number 19, BassPro.com right there. Cabela's with a black spoiler. Let's see. Uh, Tracker Boats, if I can focus, please. Tracker Boats, ATVs, Toyota. Uh, let's see, number 9, XSC, uh, Camry. Uh, it's hard to read because it's just it's blurry. But I promise you, that's what it says. Got Tracker Boats, ATVs, Bass Pro Shops right there. Nothing on the C post, surprisingly. Uh, Martin Trix Jr. right there on the name rail, of course. Uh, oh goodness. Let's see here. There's a little bit of a weird decal there. We'll see. It looks like got Toyota Auto Owners. Auto Owners once again. Cessna. Something, something. And Joe Gibbs right there. I have no clue what in the world that is. So you got the 19. Research right there. I believe that's food. Yeah, fine foods. Uh, race car. NASCAR race car, I mean. NASCAR Cup Series. Let's see. Mac Tools. Lincoln Welders. The little freaking Arctic cat looking thing there. Interstate Battery, Sherman Williams, Simons, and Mobile One. Same as Kyle Busch for the most part, anyway. Got Goodyear. Got the little uh, orange, or not orange, but they got the yellow stripe with the black going down to the front. Looks very sharp. Right here on the front end, we don't have a super wonky as can be headlight right there, so that's pretty awesome. Good to see, good to see. Uh, got the number 19 Camry right there. Front end looks honestly pretty darn good. Not a lot of mistakes. At least from what I can tell. So, Lino didn't do a a terrible job on this paint scheme so yeah not bad again i would link the gold series review but we have not put that out yet uh once i do put it out i'm not going to go back and edit so i do apologize for that but i will say oh i reviewed this in the wave if you want to go check out the wave yada yada, yada link in the description you know all the good stuff right so again there is martin Trix jr's number 19 2021 bass pro shops toyota camry Next up, we have the number 20 of Christopher Bell in the Ream scheme once again. So, we got a very awesome paint scheme. I don't know if I did a review on this already. Uh, yes, I did. So, I did do a diecast review on this. Link in the description if you want to go check out the Gold Series Edition. So, yeah, awesome paint scheme. Let's get this out of the box and take a closer look. Here's the die cast out of the box. Now, as I mentioned, I already reviewed it in the Gold Series, so I'm not going to uh, go super into detail for it, but this is going to be for the Daytona Road Course Custom, so that's going to be pretty awesome. So far, let's see, we got this is the fourth custom I'm going to make out of this whole wave as of right now. Of course, we've got a, a, still a few more to go, but this is the fourth one that I, in a row I'm going, to, I'm going to make a custom out of. So, yeah, pretty interesting. Got Ream right there, got the number 20. Uh, Christopher Bell, mainly C Bell, but you can see the Christopher, or the Histopher, or Christopher, yeah, whatever, uh, right there in the uh, the C and by the B right there. Of course, got the hood pins, you know, your basic stuff. NASCAR Authentics, again, nothing special. Uh, but moving on to the actual die cast right here, got a very uh, nice black and red paint scheme. I do like how everything kind of clashes together. So awesome job to the paint scheme designer. Right here on the hood, we got Ream with the black hood and a little bit of red on each side. Looks really good, actually. Got the little white that kind of uh, comforts it around the sides. Looks very good. No banners or anything. Of course, this is a Authentics. Got the number 20 right there, Ream.com. Let's see. Uh, the new degree of comfort right there. Got Ream once again. A little bit of a paint chip, but not a big deal. That new degree of comfort looks a little, a little crooked. I don't know if it was like that on the Gold Series. 
Uh, but either way, it looks very crooked. Now, if it's supposed to be like that, that bothers me, because why would you just not put it normally? Uh, but, I mean, if it's a mistake, I get it. It is what it is. Still bothers me, but, you know, it is what it is once again. So, right here on the back, we got Ream.com. Toyota got a little bit of a uh, red and white kind of stripes back here. I got Camry. Let's see, Ream 20. Got taillights, Camry, you know, all the good stuff there. XSE and the camera. So, that little... Uh, line kind of wraps all the way around the front and down to the uh, around the side to the front looks very very sleek actually got ream nothing on the quarter panel ream.com uh, D Walt Christopher Bell Toyota and Joe Gibbs got a little bit of a paint chip right there on the B post got rud or rude don't remember which one that is interstate batteries got the number 20 let's see you got uh, NASCAR race car NASCAR Cup Series sports clips Lincoln Motors uh, Sherman Williams mobile one Simons I don't know what that it was MC, I think. And then the little cougar looking thing down there. Got Goodyear, of course, with the tires. Got Cannon on the front bumper. Now, as far as the front end goes, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Looks, I don't know, something about it looks a little off to me. But, I mean, not too bad. Really not too bad. Got the Camry right there, the Toyota. Got the splitter, the 20, the headlights, all that good stuff. So, not a bad job, but there's a little bit of uh, scuffs right here. Uh, I mean, normally the Authentics line, I get it. You're paying five bucks. Not a big deal. And it comes with a free magnet or a hood, sticker, or whatever it comes with. So you're not going to get a lot of good quality for five dollars. But I mean, this still happens in the Gold Series, which is like nine or ten dollars, depending on where you get it. So, Lionel still has a problem. But I mean, again, I'm doing this for customs. So it doesn't really affect me as much. But if it was for my collection. Trust me, this video would be a little bit different. Alright you guys, so I have three, count them, three die casts left. That's going to be, the first one of the three, is going to be the William Byron machine that he won at Homestead with. And, fun surprise, I'm going to do the Homestead custom with this as well. I've already done it in the Gold Series, I've done, let's see, I've done the, uh, the standard review, like the normal paint scheme, and the custom Homestead win both in the gold series so you can go check that out with the link in the descriptions uh of course with all the other videos that are down there you can go check those out as well but the homestead race win in the gold series was not for sale that was for a friend of mine but this one will be so once you uh get a chance you can go ahead and go on over with the link in the description once again to the bottom bag diecast ebay page you don't even have to buy anything you know just check it out i'd appreciate you know just even overlooking it if you have any suggestions or if you have anything that you kind of see that you could I uh, think that could, you know, possibly make it look a little bit better. You know, just contact me. You can, go, you can contact me through eBay. Uh, I think you can contact me through YouTube. I got Instagram. Don't contact me on Twitter because I never use Twitter anymore. Uh, I got, you know, Instagram, of course. So, yeah. Either way, Homestead Win coming your way to the Bottom Diecast. Bottom Diecast. I can't even say my own little company right. Bottom Bag Diecast eBay page very soon. Here's the die cast out of the box. Now, of course, again, going to take a look at the little trinket real quick. Got Alexander, so I got the yellow, green, and blue. Right there, got William Byron and the 24. Of course, you got that big old, like, orange color right there. So, that is all for the hood. Now, for the actual die cast, I think I've explained this in my die cast review of the Gold Series. Also, surprise, surprise, link in the description if you want to go check that out. I, I believe I've already uh, said that. But, yeah, either way... This was a, or a paint scheme, actually, that I did not like at the beginning. I thought this thing was horrendous. I mean, it was ugly. It was terrible. I'm like, ew, no, get that out of here. I don't like it. And over time, it's still not my favorite paint scheme. Don't get me wrong. But it's gotten a whole lot better versus when I first saw it. I When I first saw it, I was like, oh, my God, that thing's the worst paint scheme in 2021. Get it off the track. Don't even run it yet. Just set it aside, do something else, we'll get it figured out. But, I mean, now that it actually ran, it's in diecast form, I've seen it, not not in person, but I've kind of seen it run on track on TV at least, and, I mean, it's not really that bad, it's really not. Again, it's still not my favorite scheme, but it's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was originally. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this diecast. Ooh, what is that on the hood? Okay, there, man, I got it off. Got Oxata right there. I kind of wish they had like a little black outline around the text and the logo right there. But I mean, hey, that's just me. Got some yellow on the sides right there. On the roof, we got the 24. Oxata coating systems. Got a little bit of uh, 
decal creasing right there. Gotta love Lionel, right? Got Oxalto, which looks to be a little too big for the deck lid. Or, they, yeah, okay. So they just need to scoot it down a wee little bit, and uh, it'll be all fine and dandy. But they kind of get a little over the edge, so, yeah, kind of a curled decal. It is what it is. It's not a big deal. But either way, it still kind of bugs me at least a little bit. Right here on the back, we got a black spoiler. I kind of wish they changed it. Maybe it was like a orange or like a yellow. You know, something kind of crazy just kind of make this thing pop a little bit more. We got Oxalta Coating Systems, Valvoline, Camaro Z01 Mona Lee. Got the tail lights, the bow tie up there. Got the camera and the 24. So you got the blue going all the way down the side, uh, accompanied by the green and the yellow. Got Liberty University, Oxalta right there, Valvoline. Uh, let's see, Oxelta, Cronus, Freightliner, Mac Tool, Simon, Cincinnati. William Byron with the big old slit right there in his name. Again, thank you Lionel for making quality diecast. 24, nothing behind the number or in front of the number. Uh, so you got the NASCAR race car logo there. And of course the uh, NASCAR Cup Series got Goodyear. Moving around to the front, we got a little paint bubble there, that's nice. Got Sunoco, and let's see how the headlights look. Not too bad, not too bad at all. It's a little weird looking, it kind of looks like a little bug. Or an alien. But uh, either way, still not terrible. I'll take it. Got 24. And of course got the Hendrick Motorsports. And that's about it. Honestly. Now this side's a little rough around the edges. Uh, I think. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of like a chipping right there. And uh, there's a little bit of a chipping on the B post. Then you can see there's a big old crack all the way along the C post to the B post. And uh, yeah. So that's not good. But I mean, it's hard to wrap these things. I get it. I understand. But you guys are a multi-million dollar company. You should have this done by now. And you don't. So that's kind of on you. But again, it's going to be turned into a custom. So I can't really complain too much. And of course, for $5, you're not going to get the best quality. So let's go ahead and move on to our next die cast. And that next die cast just so happens to be the number 41 of Cole Custer. And the number, or not the number, but the 2021 Ford Mustang right here. Now, got a little bit of a surprise for you. If you check the link in the description, you can find the Gold Series review to this actual paint scheme. What? Yeah, I know. Surprising, right? Uh, but yeah, you can go ahead and check that in the description if you have not already. Much appreciated if you have already. If you have not, feel free to. You don't have to. I'm not going to force you to. That's uh, kind of against the law. But anyway, so you got Cole Custer. Got an awesome pack. Look, look at this packaging. That's actually really cool on the top. I'm not even going to lie. That's uh, pretty awesome. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and check this paint scheme out. Again, this is going to be used for, I believe, the Coda wreck, where it was like involved the Truex and, of course, Cole Custer. I'm going to give it a shot. I don't know if I'm able to, but I'm definitely going to give it a pretty good attempt. Here is the die cast out of the box. Now, whenever I... Okay. Not whenever. If ever... I successfully complete the two-pack, or not the two-pack, I didn't mean to say that, like, right now. If I ended up successfully making the two die cast into the Rex, and, or the, you know, race versions, and they actually look really good, or, you know, good enough, I would sell these as I set on the eBay page. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to, because this is the first time I've actually done something kind of wild like that. Now, I've done flips and stuff, but, you know, that was pretty easy. You know, the front bumper comes off, hood comes off, you know, whatever, right? Now, I haven't really inspected. I think Truex is going to be the hardest. But either way, I want to see what I can do and uh, see if we can kind of get that taken care of. But anyway, let's actually go ahead and take a look at the hood decal. Or not decal, but the hood uh, little plastic piece right here. Got a Haas tooling right there. Or HaasTooling.com, technically. Got a, it looks like a spark plug or something right there. Got 41 of good old coal Custer. Got a little bit of that kind of graphic design at the bottom. Looks very good. That's Garthenics. Again, nothing special. Nobody cares. So, moving on to the actual die cast. Again, already did this in the gold series. So, we're going to kind of just skim over this. I kind of talked about how I like the pattern. And the pattern was really nice. And I actually did a side-by-side -side comparison of the last year's paint scheme for the Haas tools as well. So, yeah. Definitely something you should go check out if you want to see a side-by-side -side comparison. But we got Haas tilted and stretched out across the hood. I do like that. I wish it was a little bit bigger, uh, like back in 2017, I believe, when uh, good old Kurt Busch ran the 41, and he just had the Haas completely stretched over the hood. That did look very awesome. Got the Ford right there. 
Let's see, on the roof, we got the 41 and HossTooling.com. HossTooling.com, once again, on the deck lid. Got a black spoiler right here. It'll be cool if it was like silver. Well, that could indicate the playoffs. No, the playoffs this year is yellow. I forgot about that. That's actually pretty cool. I'm so glad they brought back the yellow for this year. Honestly, I really miss the yellow playoffs. Let's see, you got HossTooling.com, Mobile One, Ford, and the 41. Uh, there's the camera back there. You can barely see it, but it is back there. Maybe. I don't know. It might be. It blends in really well if it is. Haas tooling right there. Let's see. We got Code 3, Jacob, uh, Wow Wow, I believe. Got a little bit of a paint chipping down here as well. Uh, Haas on the C post. Cole Custer on the name rail, of course. I got Ford. I don't know what that one is. Uh, looks like Dixie Vodka. Yeah, Dixie Vodka, and it's not on a base. In the Authentics line. So that's a little weird. Hunt Brothers Pizza, and I believe that's the Rush Truck Centers right there. Got the HaasToing.com once again. Looks like a little spark plug. SEM and Exalta. Got the 41 right there with that beautiful silver in the background. Oh, goodness, no. Oh, goodness, no. Good old um, Wolverine came by. I use Wolverine every single time for a like a like a little joke. Who should I use next? I don't know. Beetlejuice came by and kind of just tore this thing up right there. So it says NASCAR... C car or ace car. I don't know. Either way, it's cut off pretty bad. Oh well, that's Lionel for you, and that's Authentics for you, actually. Uh, NASCAR Cup Series got the Goodyear in blue right there. I don't know why I'm zoomed in so much. Jesus. Got Sunoco and the 41. Let's see, you got the mean looking headlights right here. Got Mustang and all that good stuff right there. Not bad, not bad at all. It's a little off, but I mean, I can live with that. Got Stuart Haas over there. So yeah. Pretty awesome paint scheme. Once again, if I can do that custom set, I definitely will. I would love to do so. Again, if I'm not able to, then, oh well, I tried. I'll scrap it for parts. But if I... I have not failed a custom yet. I have not. I've always went through. I never, I never backed out. I've never stopped. So hopefully, this does not change my little streak of not stopping customs. So, let's see. I think that's it for this diecast. So let's go ahead and move on to our final diecast, of course. Best for last, good old Alex Bowman. Now, 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 of course, when I say best for last, I don't really mean it. It's just where Bowman's my guy. You know, got to give him a little credit. I mean, he's got three wins. Of course, Larson's got like, what, freaking 25 wins? I mean, not really, obviously. But that man's on a roll. He really is. Elliot is the defending champion. Byron's just... Eh, kind of there. <laughs> Bowman's got three wins. Again, Larson's got like uh, five wins, I think. And Elliot has two, I want to say. And he's the year defending champion. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, this purple kills me. I hate the purple so much. It is way too light. It really is. Now, again, Lionel delayed it because of it being too light. I mean, again, it is what it is. I'm glad they, they're they kind of putting it off to fix it other than just releasing it with it being, you know, this bad. Funny thing is, the liquid color, the chase piece, is actually really more accurate to the actual paint scheme than the paint scheme is, if that makes any sense. I mean, also, look at this packaging. A very retro vibe. I like that a lot. But yeah, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open, and this is going to be... I want to say I'm going to make his Dover win. I don't know if I'm going to do his Dover, Richmond, or Pocono. Did he win Pocono? I don't know for sure. Either way, I think I'm going to do Dover, though, if I'm being honest. Here's the die cast out of the box. Let's take a look at this beautiful hood right here. So we got Ally like a thousand times because somebody was on something when they was making the paint schemes as normal. Now, actually, it's got really like a matte finish. I, I do kind of like that. But anyway, back to what I was saying. What was I saying, if I'm being honest? I don't remember. Oh, I know. Okay, so I would do the side-by-side -side comparisons, of course, of, like, uh, the ally from last year and the year before, right? But, 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 I'm going to wait until the Gold Series is released, and then I'll do Gold Series of the 2019, 2020, and, of course, 2021, for Alex Bowman and Johnson, you know, so we'll kind of compare those when the Gold Series gets released. So we're not going to do that right now, but we will do that later on. I can promise you that. This paint scheme is very retro, though. I do love it. It's almost like a throwback slash modern paint scheme. I mean, it is a modern paint scheme, but you can almost pass it off as a throwback. 
But it's almost kind of got like a uh, Gen X vibe to it. But again, I mean, it looks very, very awesome, very retro. And I am in love with this paint scheme. Sadly, they kind of messed it up again with the purple. But I, just, I hope to God that the gold series is actually so much better. And if it is, then awesome. If it's not, I mean, at least they tried. So let's go ahead and take a look at the hood right here. Got Ally right there. Got it very different colors. Let's see, you got purple, white, like a pinkish, and more of a, like a, uh, a cyan blue right there. Or like a, uh, kind of like a baby bluish color. Nothing on the windshield, sadly. Uh, again, you know, authentic sign. 48, Ally, do it right. Got Ally right there as well. Got a little bit of a weird little, uh, like, box right there. Got a black spoiler. This thing doesn't look too bad, actually. Got Ally, let's see, Valvoline, Camaro, Z01, Winnelly, 48, and of course you got the uh, tail lights. I'm sorry, all I see is Johnson with that Dayglow 48 and that black. I, all I see is Johnson. I don't see Bowman. I definitely 1,000% see Johnson. I just can't help it. I, I mean, I really can't. But this guy was a very good fill-in for Johnson, I do believe, for Junior and Johnson, honestly. Not Junior Johnson, but for Dale Junior and, of course, Jimmy Johnson. So got an ally do it right right there. Got a little bit of these, like, sharp patterns. Looks very good. Uh, let's see. Got Valvoline right there. Alex Bowman. And, oh, no. Really? Really? Why? Look at the B post. Why you gotta do this to me? Oh, I thought it was going to be good. Ah, oh well. Got Alexata, partially, right there. Of course, we got uh, Cronus, Freightliner, Mac Tool, Simons, and Cincinnati. Let's see, you got Microsoft and Hendrick Motorsports. Got the 48. Got a little bit of those little uh, patterns kind of going around. Once again, around the front. NASCAR Race Car, NASCAR Cup Series. Got the Goodyear right there. So you got Sunoco, got the 48. And the front end... Yeah, it's not bad. It looks kind of a little wonky, uh, but I mean, I guess it's kind of how the Camaros look. But either way, still looks a like a very good race car. Very Not very intimidating. I feel like a black or a red is more intimidating than a purple, by any means. But I mean, hey, you know what? It still works. Bowman is still getting the job done. I don't think he'll make it to the round of four, but I do think he made it to... He will make it to the round of eight. I'm pretty sure he made it... Yeah, he did make it to the round of eight because he was in the... Uh, the planter's car for Martinsville. So hopefully my boy can kind of pull through and go to the round of eight. I feel like he will, unless something, you know, like dramatic happens. I don't think he'll make it to the final four. But if he does, my hopes are going to be lowered or dropped pretty hard. Like, I mean, the hopes of him winning the championship if he makes the final four, it's going to be picked up from the floor all the way up to heaven. And just as soon as he loses or crashes... It's going to drop and hit the ground very hard, and I'm going to be very sad. But anyway, uh, with that being said, that is all for the wave review. So let's go ahead and get everything kind of stacked up together and uh, do a little outro exit. Uh, so yeah, I will see you there. So once again, that is it. That will conclude this Wave 5 diecast review. Now, or diecast review, I guess you could say. But the wave review is over, I know, aw, oh, big sad, I'm sorry. But hopefully we get wave 6 in soon, I don't think we will for a few weeks or so. But either way, this wave right here, in particular, is very awesome. Now, here's the thing, we've got 3 out of 400 cars in this wave. The next wave, we do have Kyle Larson. So that's going to be very awesome if we are able to get that. So with that being said, uh, everybody look out for your stores, I know I'm definitely going to. And I do believe you should as well. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. My voice hurts so bad.